Calgary, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's, a, it's a really unique spot. And uh, one of the nice things about being a part of the Canadian Sport Institute is that we're in this mecca for high performance sport, and particularly winter sport. And so, um, you know, for me, the purity of being able to help an athlete uh, uh, perform at the highest level in sport and the purity in the practice of, of strength and conditioning and strength and power training is, is, what, is what really drives me. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's not about selling uh, a fancy program or something that's exciting. It's really about uh, pushing these athletes to a different level, and, and that's where all the application of knowledge and, and the ability to work with other great professionals uh, comes into play. The title is, is a strength and conditioning coach or a strength and power coach. And, uh, you know, being a coach is, uh, means you're in the trenches and you're with the athletes on a, on a daily basis, you're coaching them. And so we play a very important role, not only with the athlete, because we're coaching them on a daily basis and, um, you know, coaching them in the weight room with, with uh, strength, power and conditioning training. But then we're also bringing our expertise in the realm of strength and power science to the integrated support team, to the IST so that you know, we can work with the team, uh, the IST, on areas like rehabilitation, uh, performance, um, working with the biomechanics group in terms of how athletes apply force. So it's, um, it's a really important role because it really spans that, you know, in the trench work right up to the, to the, to the, to the higher levels of, of uh, running, a, running a sport program. You know, do you have to have done a sport at a high level in order to help a sport? And my response is that, you know, strength is strength power is power. And, and how you help an athlete become more efficient at, at applying force is really about analyzing the specifics of that sport, what, that's, you know, what that athlete need, needs in the context of their sport, and then you know, devising a training program that's going to help them get from, from A to B. So in that context, even though you might look at alpine skiing, cross-country skiing, and speed skating as being three completely different sports, strength is strength, power is power. So we apply our principles of biomechanics, our principles of physiology, in uh, our uh, uh, principles of performance analysis to help these athletes bridge gaps in how their body applies force, applies, uh, you know, uh, applies uh, the muscular force to make the strength, make the power in that, in that given sport. What I strongly believe in from a philosophical standpoint is that what separates us from, let's say, personal training is that we need to know what matters to an athlete in terms of uh, uh, performance. We need to measure what matters, and we need to show that we changed what matters. So there's three things. And um, that comes down to being able to quantify the impact of your training program in an objective way to really show that your training methods, your training principles are um, improving the athlete in the right way. So how we innovate here at the Canadian Sport Institute is by having a really high level strength and power lab where our athletes can pass through there, where they're assessed in terms of how they apply force, how they develop mechanical power with the body. And then we can uh, then really test the efficacy of our training methods and our approach uh, uh, using this, which permits us the, the ability to innovate. And our innovations come from all kinds of different areas, whether it's uh, traveling to other conferences, collaborating with other researchers and uh, professionals from uh, professional sport and amateur sport around the world. Uh, but definitely, I think our group is recognized as a, a high-level group, a, a group that leads in, in that area. Well, one of, the, one of the big challenges that we have in, in uh, strength and conditioning when it comes to overloading an athlete is you've got these tremendously heavy weights that are sitting on an athlete's shoulders. Let's say they're doing squats. And we always have an issue with how do we get this person to, to lift maximal loads in a safe way. And people have spent um, you know, 20, 30 years trying to, do, to come up with devices that would permit um, an athlete to do these super maximal loads during training. And what the IM Lifter is, is a very unique device that comes out of Austria where it has optical sensors in the safeties that follow, uh, or that would, uh, that would catch a barbell if you were, let's say, to um, uh, be doing a squat and, and uh, uh, let's say, not be able to get up from a bottom position. So those safeties are those traditional bars that just run horizontally in, in the rack. Well, these, these uh, safeties in the IM Lifter have an optical sensor which permit us to track the barbell as the athlete does their squats. So with this, we can set the limits for the athlete, the range of motion, and the optical sensors will track the barbell, which will permit us to have almost like a built-in spotter device within, within the rack. And in addition to that, it's instrumented so we can measure forces, we can set these parameters for the athlete, track their progress, and um, you know, do all sorts of other 
testing and different types of measurements that uh, are really unique. And, and in the context of our environment where we're trying to push athletes to a podium, nothing beats hard work. So in this way, we're able to accomplish that super maximal training in the safest way possible with the, with the use of the IM lifter. All of our goals uh, as strength coaches or any IST professional should be to do ourselves out of a job so that by the time you get to the Olympic Games, you're absolutely redundant to the process, as in the athlete and the coaches know exactly what they need to do. So my hope at the Games is that my job will be redundant and my days will be quiet because these athletes know what they're, what they're doing because they've prepared well. I always say that any of these athletes, that they're ahead of the game before they even wake up. You know, when you wake up, you're, you're chasing the dream for the sake of a dream. You know, and, and these athletes get to wake up every morning for the pure uh, goal of just chasing the dream of, 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 of being an Olympian and then winning an Olympic medal. And I think what's, what's really special about the Olympic Games is that it, it really is the pinnacle of athletic performance. It's the pinnacle of, of preparation. And, and the world recognizes this. And so we all throw our hats into the ring and we all give our best efforts uh, from, from all the support uh, side, but most importantly, these athletes, they're the ones who are ultimately throwing it all in there. And what I love about it is I, I help somebody chase that dream. You know, I, I, there's nothing better than to uh, watch somebody who's motivated and has a, has a dream of theirs and you, help to, you get to help facilitate that and, and to provide just a little bit of expertise and a little bit of knowledge that gives them a, a bit of an advantage as they walk into that, uh, into that realm. We can inspire kids to play sports. We can inspire people to lead a healthier, more active life. We can make people proud to be Canadian. We can inspire the next gold medalist. We can inspire the next gold medalist.